Hi, my name is Yufeng. I'm a fourth year PhD student from University of Rochester. Today, I'm pleasured to present our work, Real-Time Gaze Tracking with Event-Driven Eye Segmentation. This is the joint work with Reality Labs Research. AR VR glasses could be next generation of wearable for everyone, and people can wear it all day long. However, the challenge here is a limited compute budget to support all applications. Our idea is to focus on the region of interest in the image, so that we can process less pixels and reduce the overall computation. In this talk, we are going to talk about how to apply this idea to gaze tracking. First, let me introduce the overall gaze tracking pipeline. The algorithm will take grayscale image and fade into eye segmentation stage. The eye segmentation stage will classify each pixel into one of four classes. Then, the segmentation result will be used in the gaze estimation stage to predict the gaze direction. The state of our pipelines typically use DM based algorithms in eye segmentation stage. Those DM-based algorithms take more than 85% of total execution time. So in this work, we focus on leveraging ROI in near-eye image to accelerate eye segmentation stage. How to find ROI is inspired by the event camera. Conventionally, a frame-based camera will capture an object frame by frame at a fixed time frequency. On the other hand, when an event camera captures the same object on the left, it will generate a sequence of events instead of images. That is because only the pixels with large color shifts will be activated. In this case, the region around black dot will activate events. For near-eye imaging, events naturally become a sparse encoding of eye movements, since the background is most likely static. So our key insight here is that events naturally encode ROI information. With this key insight, we propose our multi-mode switching algorithm. Our multi-mode switching algorithm will take software emulate event image and previous information as input to predict ROI. We choose to emulate events instead of using actual event camera so that no extra hardware is required to support our algorithm. Although event camera can operate at high speed, such as 10,000 Hz, such a high speed is usually an overkill for many consumer gaze tracking algorithms. In addition to predict ROI, multi-mode switching algorithm can also select the execution path for the rest of the pipeline. In our case, we have three different paths, both ROI-based eye segmentation and extrapolation can reduce the overall compute cost, and we only execute full-frame eye segmentation as a fallback option. Here's an example of executing our pipeline. At time t0, our algorithm will always execute the full-frame eye segmentation to get a segmentation result, because we don't have previous information to predict ROI. At time t1, we will emulate event camera in software and generate event map from the previous and the current image. This event map along with edge map from the previous segmentation result will be used in a mode switch network. This mode switch network will generate ROI prediction to crop the full size image. The cropped ROI image then will be used in ROI based eye segmentation to get a final segmentation result. At time t2, again, we will generate event map and edge map, and these two will be used in the mode switch network. At this time, because there's no event activities in the event map, the mode switch network will decide to use ROI-based extrapolation to predict the final eye segmentation result. This will further reduce the overall computation. Here we show the architecture of our mode switch network. Our mode switch network has three inputs, event map, edge map, and ROI from the previous prediction. Event map and edge map are concatenated and used as input for the first three count layers. 
then the previous ROI will be concatenated with the flattened intermediate feature to predict the final ROI. On top of acceleration from our multi-mode switching algorithm, we further accelerate eye segmentation stage by proposing a lightweight segmentation network. Similar to other segmentation networks, we use an encoder-decoder architecture, but we use lightweight depth-wise separable convolution layers to reduce the overall compute cost and model weights. Here we show our model is order magnitude smaller than the state-of-art algorithms. In our experiment, we use OpenEDS 2020 for the evaluation. In our evaluation, we have two variants. The first variant only uses ROI prediction with no extrapolation. The second variant uses both ROI prediction and extrapolation. We compare our methods against three baselines, dense ELNet, deep VOG, and RITNet. Here's our evaluation on overall gates error. The x-axis shows us the normalized speed, and the y-axis shows us the overall angular error. As we can see, our newly proposed eye segmentation network can achieve two times speed up with similar accuracy as other state-of-art networks. By combining ROI prediction and extrapolation, our method can achieve up to 5.4 times speed up and retain the error rate within one degree. Similar results can be seen in eye segmentation evaluation. Our method can keep high mean IOU accuracy with much higher speed up. In conclusion, we propose a novel ROI prediction algorithm that emulates an event camera to accelerate downstream tasks. We also find out combining event camera with feedback cues from previous results can further improve the robustness of ROI prediction. This would be the first step to emulate event camera and accelerate AR applications. We are hoping this idea can benefit other visual tasks and make all the VR become a reality. Thanks for watching.